What's going on guys? My name is Zotzi Nombies, and today we are bringing to life Dead Space's Plasma Cutter from over 650 Lego bricks, complete with the glowing green laser uh, LED bricks on the very end of it. Known fully as the Tim Sun Tools 211V Plasma Cutter, it's a deep space mining tool that uses ionized gas and plasma energy from its onboard detachable battery, and it offers unrivaled reliability in even the most hostile of work environments. You can see I used a couple of stickers to give it that beat up weathered look as in game. This weapon is wielded by 49 year old Isaac Clark, who's a ship systems engineer. And he works for the mining company which issues these plasma cutters, the Concordance Extraction Corporation. So for this Lego plasma cutter, here are the build techniques you can see in the speed build. I use lots of metallic silver and chrome to give it the futuristic look. The game Dead Space is set in year 2508, so I definitely want to give it a futuristic look with lots of angular pieces and uh, make it look very industrial. The Plasma Cutter first appeared in 2008's Dead Space, and it's been a staple in the series ever since. The Plasma Cutter has appeared in both the sequels Dead Space 2 and Dead Space 3, as well as the spin-off titles Dead Space Extraction, as well as Ignition. So the yellow bricks help to give it a really cool kind of construction tool look. The red trigger, I think, gives it a very uh, nice effect. And that was built with a hinged piece and a 1x4 red sloped piece, which I got off a of Lego Ferrari. I also used some printed pieces from the Star Wars series of Lego sets. There's some onboard computers from an Imperial Star Destroyer, and they just helped give it that space uh, futuristic look to it. This weapon measures over a foot long at 33 centimeters in length, and the four yellow uh, sort of blades on the end were built with inverted slopes as well as sloped yellow pieces, and they're only one brick thick. So if you guys are looking to make your own Lego plasma cutter, I would sort out your light gray as well as yellow sloped pieces on the end. I'd say the end of it was the most challenging part of this build, is getting those panels to be stable and secure and not go flying off every time uh, the front of it rotates. But all in all, a very cool weapon, one of the coolest weapons in gaming, and here is the LEGO version of it. I've got comments to make the LEGO Plasma Cutter since 2012, so it's been over six years, and thank you to everyone who's commented, and I hope you enjoy the finished model. So do be sure to leave the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy, and let me know in the comments your idea for the next LEGO gaming weapon or creation. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching my videos, and I will see you guys in another video with another LEGO creation.